Tonight we're trying to show that any x um, that leaves a remainder of 2 when divided by 4 is not the difference of two square integers. And let's just do a concrete example here. Uh, let's, let's try out 30, just simple. 30 is equal to 2 uh, plus, sorry, uh, 2 plus uh, 4 times 7. Right, folks? That's, that's what you signed up for, right? Okay, 4 times 7 is 28. 28 plus 2 is 30. Okay? Now, that's this condition right here. Let's say x is equal to 30. Uh, if you divide 30 by 4, um, you get a remainder of 2. That This 2 and this 2 the same thing. Now, let's just suppose we're trying to show that it's not, but let's see what happens if we write it is uh, a squared minus b squared. And y'all, everything inside, this is a number theory problem, so everything inside is an integer. Okay. You see, y'all, we're assuming that this number that we're starting with here, 30, um, is congruent to 2 modulo 4. And this is another way of writing it, okay? We want to show that it's not the difference of two square integers. So we should get some kind of contradiction if this happens to be true. So let's go a little bit further right here. Uh, we could write this as equal to, we can factor a 2 out of this, right? So we can write this as 2 times uh, 1 plus 2 times 7, which is 14. So that is one of the standard factorizations of, of uh, 30, 2 times 15, okay? So now, again, the difference of two squares can be written like this. You got the cancellation of that middle term when you expand this out. Okay. Again, y'all, I hope I'm making myself clear what we're trying to do right here. Uh, I'm talking about a number that meets this condition. We're trying to show that it's not the difference of two squares if, it's, if it meets this condition. But we're assuming that it is. And so we should get something. Something should crack here. Okay. Now what we can do, folks, is equate. We can set 2 equal to a plus b. And then uh, 15 equals to, uh, let me just write it down. So we can assign 2 equals to a plus b. Because remember, a plus b times a minus b is considered to be completely factored. Okay, and also we will equate 15 with a minus b. And we're equating factor pairs in a manner of speaking. Very, very comfortable so far. Again, y'all, we get this factorization right here when 30 is in this form, okay, the given form. All right, and so we equate this 2 with this factor and this 1 plus 14 with this factor. And 1 plus 14, of course, is 15. Again, that's what you signed up for. Now, if you add these two inequalities, the b's conveniently cancel, and you end up with 2a uh, equals 2, 17. Right, folks? Again, what did I do? Equality has a property, like if a is equal to b and c is equal to d, then a plus c is equal to b plus d. That's what I just did right here. I added equals to equals, and the b's conveniently cancel, and you get two copies of a. And this implies that a is equal to 17 over 2, but that's not an integer. Okay? That is not an integer, all right? So you see, 30 is in this form, and if, if you try to write it as the difference of two squares, you're going to get one of the numbers. And let me put this. It's not an integer. It's not a member of Zalen. Okay. Now, so okay, that, that that that's just a that's just one case. Let's go through this in general. Okay. Okay. Again, uh, the given, the given is this right here, and this is in more general terms where k is an integer. Two plus four k right here. Here our k was turned out to be what seven. Okay, but now we're doing this in general. So the given implies this, and we carry on in a way that's very, very similar. We're just dealing with the letters now. And uh, you end up with this exact statement right here. You get 2a is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 2k, which is exactly what this statement was right here, just with numbers, okay? 
But what happens here, folks, this implies that uh, a little a is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2k over 2. But guess what, folks? This is also not an integer. And this is more convincing than a single numerical case, right? Because you see, um, this is an odd number divided by an even number, right? 1 plus 2k is odd. The, the numerator is odd. So 1 uh, plus an odd number over an even number is still, uh, it's a member of Q, okay? Proud member of Q. Uh, more in, in particular, I mean, it's not a member of, uh, of Z, right? So this happens no matter what. And y'all, you can do this in either order because the Bs always cancel out no matter what. You can make the assignments either way. You could do 1 plus 2K is equal to A. It's symmetrical, you know. And you could do 2 is equal to A minus B. And you get the same thing. You get the same thing except it's B would be the one that was the bad boy, okay? Okay, so anyway, uh, this contradiction, this is a contradiction. Uh, this, um, anytime you have this initial condition occurring, you cannot write the difference. You cannot write it as the difference of two square integers because this is all completely general. I know a lot of you might be thinking, wait a minute, this is only one factored form, but X is equal to this period, okay? If it's congruent to two modulo four, X has to equal to two plus four K, right? And then you get this impossibility right here, right? So again, this, this is impossible. It's a contradiction and, um, Therefore, uh, since this is an impossibility, when we make the assumption, uh, we can conclude that, you know, that this is certainly true. If X is congruent to two modulo four, X is not the difference of two square integers, folks. There's always something that's slightly unsettling about these proofs by contradiction, you know, but in any event, hopefully that was convincing. I liked it. Thank you for viewing.